So at this time, let's stay encouraged, and I will definitely. Ooh, this bug. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh. sorry. Thank you for joining me for Friday Mommy Moments. And no, you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. As you can see, again this week, I am outside. So there is people cleaning in their yards. There are cars driving by. There are birds chirping. There is wind blowing. Y'all ain't gonna say my shirt ain't together? Okay. <laughs> Focus, focus. Hopefully no bugs don't come get in my face. But this is what it is and I am excited because listen you guys, inside of there are five children, my husband working from home, and I also take care of my mom. It's a lot going on. And today has been kind of rough. Actually, since this quarantine thing and the homeschooling and all of that, we'll get into that. We'll, we'll get into that. But the first thing that we do here on Fridays is Friday shout outs. And today, I want to give a shout out to everyone who is just dealing with life. The shout out is going to who? It's going to you. Things have changed. Our world has turned upside down for most of us. People are losing their jobs. People are being laid off. People are not having enough food. People are just going through it, you guys. And I definitely want to make sure that I let you guys know to stay encouraged. Please stay encouraged during this time. And I wanna give this week's shout out to you. So thank you so much for even taking time to come back and spend some time with me. I really appreciate that. So with all that being said, let me get into what is on my heart to share with you. Go ahead and grab your beverage. Y'all know I got my coffee. And you guys, thank you so much for continuing to support our Seaward Creations Etsy shop. You can go and get this mug right here. It is available. I designed it and I really, really, really enjoy it. So if you haven't checked out our Etsy shop, go do so and catch me right back here. Be sure to check out Seaward Creations at EtsyShop.com where you can get customized moment mugs and moment mugs designed by the Soren Seaward family. We look forward to sending you your very own moment mug. And remember, all you need is a moment. All right, you guys. So today I just wanted to come and I wanted to express and say how I feel. Is it okay if I just talk? Because a lot of times I come and God put things on my heart for me to share and for me to motivate and I really feel like God put it on my heart for me to go in a different direction today. Um, I know I do talk with you guys all the time, but it's just like different. Um, I wanna talk about how things have changed for me, what's been going on in my mind. And a lot of times people don't really um, share, like they share, but they don't really, really share. And you guys, this week and last week has been really, really trying for me. And I know it's been trying for a lot of you guys as well. If people don't know, like I take care of my mom. And my mom, she is, um, she has health issues. And usually I have a health aide come um, three times a week. And that health aide helps me with showers. She helped me with changing things. She helped me with my mom. She helps with cleaning. Um, she basically is just like an extra pair of hands and feet and another human being that can help me get through my day. And then um, once a week I have somebody come and they check my mom's vitals, like the temperature, her weight, and things like that. So because of this virus that's going on, I canceled all those services. Like just put them on pause, not cancel where they can't come back. And only because with me and my husband and where we're going and where the kids are going, we kind of have an eye on those things. But being so, um, when you're in a work field, like the, my mom's person who comes and do the vitals, they check a lot of other people before they actually come here as well. And um, the health aid, she's amazing. I miss her so, so very much. 
um, but they have like their own travels and things that they do. So I just wanted to minimize what was coming in the house and what was coming out of the house. So I have had to take on those responsibilities. As far as the vital part, no, I'm not taking blood pressure or things like that, but I have the thermometer, I have the weight, and I have things that I'm supposed to check on my mom anyway. If I have any issues, I can call and talk to the doctor or just call to the health agency and see if they can prep me to go through things. As far as the things that my mom needs, it's been really, um, honestly, God, it's, it's been tough. Like, it's really, really um, been tough not having the help. When we first moved here, it took us a while to get approved to even get the extra help in the house. And these last two weeks, the extra help hasn't been there when it comes to helping my mom clean her room, helping my mom change, helping my mom take um, showers, and just things that you do to take care of an elderly person and a sick person. Like, I always do the medications and the meals and things like that, but it definitely has been a strain on um, not having that extra help. And I know my husband's home, but my husband is working. And then on top of that, all five kids are home. I have one child who's in middle school, two kids who are in um, elementary school, and then I have the twins. It's been tough. Now I know you're like, okay, you're a stay-at-home mom, you should be used to this. I'm not used to this. Um, this past year was my first year even being a stay-at-home mom. I worked somewhere for 10 years. Um, and that was amazing, but uh, when I took on my mom, that became um, a lot to do, plus work, plus the children, things like that. So we was fortunate to, my husband took a job opportunity here and started a career here doing something different. And I was able to be a stay-at-home mom, which is awesome, but now I feel like I work more than when I actually did work outside the home. And I would rather be home. I would rather be home, but it's not like I'm just sitting around eating bonbons all day like um tv shows it's definitely not that uh, when i became a stay-at-home mom my whole aspect of it changed on what i thought a stay-at-home mom does and i was totally wrong i was totally wrong the level of respect and the level my whole attitude on how i view a stay-at-home mom is completely different it's not what i thought at all but i'm not complaining either i would rather be doing this than something else the kids you know they're they're home now and the twins they're constantly like busy i feel like i'm not giving them the attention that they got before everybody else was home because of what's going on because the kids still have their lessons that need to be done and it's lessons that they have like social studies math science these projects gym all these things that they have and it's just a lot and then keeping the twins from busting in there with my husband he's on conference calls he's in meetings it's like so many things that's going on at one time i am cooking more usually i'm not cooking all these meals and all this time during the day um it's just a lot for me um it's a lot i wear many hats the hold on can i take a sip of coffee yes okay thank you and still just dealing with the aspect of this virus. And you guys know, I'm not afraid to talk about my anxiety and how I feel if I feel like overwhelmed. On top of that, just, you know, people are like, okay, if you get the virus, you get quarantined, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, you gotta realize my mom has some, like health issues and I don't wanna get her sick either. So it's not even about yourself like, oh, if you're young, if this is happening, blah, 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 blah. It's like, there's somebody in this house. I don't wanna see her get sick, you know, from something that we brought in or something that's going on from the outside. So I'm dealing with her fears that she now has because she was already, you know, worried about, you know, the health issues that she already had. But now to be thinking about that subconsciously, it's just like a lot going on mentally. In the last year that I've been home, like I've always been here, people be like, oh, Ivy, you have so much on your plate. You're dealing with this, you're dealing with that, blah, 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 blah. And I get it. But for the first time this week, was the first time that I was so exhausted that I could not hold my eyes open. I haven't felt like that since Christmas season at my last job. Like, it was like, I'm literally like super, super, super tired. With all that being said, I'm like, how are you guys doing? You know, I know. I have my plate full and I'm being stretched here and there and just trying to maintain, you know, like I feel like if I sneeze, I'm like, oh, did I pick something up? I don't even want to catch a common cold. Like I, I'm surprised my hands is still this color because I've been washing my hands even more. I feel like I'm taking showers and I ain't been nowhere. Like why are you, why are you taking three showers a day? That don't make no sense. Having a kid, the kids, like I just wash my hands, wash them again, wash them again. All that being said, I just really wanted to come and just talk, you know, and express myself with you guys because I feel like a lot of times I don't really talk that much on Friday. I talk on, okay, wait, let's, I talk on Friday mommy moments, but I mean like 
from all aspects of everything that's going on. I feel like I do have what God puts on my heart and I stay that avenue. But I wanted to come and share about what's been going on, the changes and stuff in my life. So it's just a lot. Like everybody's on edge, people in the stores, they scared to look at you, they scared to call. Like I'm scared to sneeze in my own house. I'm in the house and I don't want to touch my face. You know, so many things that I have realized that I took for granted. Like just being able to hug somebody, y'all. People know I am a hugger. Like, I'm like, how you doing? You know, got your touch, let me get some love. Get some... <laughs> Can't even do that. Can't even do that, okay? When it even comes to the twins hugging my mom, because they're like, you don't know when symptoms are gonna start or this happens, that happens. I'm like, y'all, okay, back up from grandma. We don't wanna get grandma sick. And they looking like, what? And if you know, if you're taking care of an elderly person or you're around elderly people, they love being around children. Because children, they don't see them as sick. Children don't see them as, you know, older or they're scared to be around them as when the older kids look at older people, they're like, oh, let me just get them. <laughs> the twins are like, hey, grandma, what we doing today? And you could have been like, chill out, relax. So, <sighs> I really had to come get that off my chest. And I wanted to do a view. So it's like, this is what I decided to spend my Friday mommy moment on. Just releasing, just releasing and being able to speak. And hopefully I did not bore you guys. Like, oh my goodness, the thing says nine minutes. <sighs> Sorry if you stuck around this long. I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Smash that subscribe button. But anyways, you guys, um, I definitely want to come in here and say stay encouraged. Let me know how your world has changed for you. Even if it's two paragraphs, even if it's a long, so many statements, let me know what's going on in your life. I really, really want to know. You can release what's going on with you down in the comment section and let me know what's going on. Check in. You know what I mean? You good? You not good? What's changed? How's your daily routine? Are you working from home? Are you not working right now? How's this virus and everything in the world impacting you? Did you ever think in a million years that we would be where we are like right now? Like, nah, I didn't. So at this time, let's stay encouraged and I will definitely, ooh, this bug, ooh, ooh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> stay encouraged, you guys and be blessed until next time stay blessed stay true and continue to be you because the world needs more people like you and if you're not feeling needed know that here on the soaring secret family channel you are needed peace out lord willing see you next week